racing to the Breeders' Cup. And now, just 22 days away, let's get you up to date on all the Breeders' Cup headlines from yesterday and point today to the Philly and Mare Sprint, seven furlongs, and should be an interesting division this year. But first, let's recap some of the information coming out yesterday on the Breeders' Cup. It looks like Governor Morris is going to be passing on the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, the second place finisher in the Breeders' Futurity, going to wait for another race either later on this fall or in the early winter of 2020. I have a feeling that's when we'll most likely see him and possibly at Tampa Bay for his next appearance. Meanwhile, Mr. Money, he wants a piece of the mile action. He's going to cut back for the mile after losing in his most recent race, the Pennsylvania Derby. Of course, a slow pace that day and the deep demanding Philadelphia Park surface. Uh, Mr. Money faded late in a blanket finish. Of course, Math Wizard won that race. He's still not yet committed. He's considering the Breeders' Cup Classic and he's also taking a look at the dirt mile. Meanwhile, Enable, she may run one more time. Breeders' Cup turf, come back over to America for that race. The two-time ARC winner came in second in the ARC this year, so a possibility of seeing her out on the West Coast. Meanwhile, Omaha Beach, it looks like uh, reports are starting to surface that he is considering the Breeders' Cup sprint. Not sure that's the best spot for him. I'd rather see him maybe blaze a dirt mile um, the Classic, I do think, would be asking a little bit too much. And I don't know, we still got to see how he comes out of this sprint race here in the next week to see if he's really going to be a viable contender at the six furlong distance. Meanwhile, in the juvenile Phillies, Bast worked out four furlongs yesterday. The daughter of Uncle Mo going to be one of the top three favorites, along with British Idiom and the impressive winner, Wicked Whisper, who won the Frisette Stakes. Now getting back to that Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint, of course, the favorite right now is Coffee, the wordly spelled uh, fast runner. Uh, she's been lighting up the track this year with some speed figures. Of course, now the, the Philly and Mare Sprint's going to pose a couple of different challenges for her. She's got a ship. She's got to go the demanding distance of seven furlongs. And she is a front runner on a new surface. So I think that's going to be uh, a couple of warning flags anyways, maybe not red flags. Uh, come dancing. I have a lot of interest in this horse. I really like the way that she can come off the pace. I like the fact that she's went some route uh, races, so she's got that stamina kind of built into her, and I think she has raced on some different racetracks, so I think she probably is going to ship okay and take to the Santa Anita surface. So I think that's definitely one to take a look at. Spice Perfection, uh, tough luck loss, uh, actually a nice win over the weekend, so she's going to be uh, a contender to take a look at. Bella Fina, you know, her best races have all been with the short fields until she beats a seven, eight, nine horse field with others quality speed. I'm not sure exactly where Bella Fina actually sits in this division. Garana still to be determined if she's going to run in the Philly and Mare Sprint. I think that's where we're most likely going to see her with Dunbar Road going to the mile and eighth distaff. Uh, Serengeti Empress, who I thought would have been very tough in the Philly and Mare Sprint, she is going to stretch out as her first preference and run in the distaff, but that has not been confirmed yet. I think she's going to be cross-entered, and the distaff is the most likely spot, but uh, Serengeti Empress could be tough at that seven furlong distance. A couple of other contenders, Dawn the Destroyer, Mia Mischief, and Minute to Stardom. Steve Asmussen sending the entire barn out west. It doesn't matter if he's a favorite, not favored where he's going to sit. He's bringing the whole barn out there, and he's emphasizing the Breeders' Cup sprint for his program. So Mia Mischief, even after a disappointing effort in her most recent race at Keeneland, looks like she is still going to point to the Philly and Mare sprint. Royal Charlotte, and uh, that's another contender, Chad Brown. We'll see if he sends two in this race or if he opts to go with two in the Breeders' Cup distaff. So as we get closer to Breeders' Cup, start taking a look and breaking down some of these races and taking a look at some of the top contenders. Again, Yoshida with a nice work a couple of days ago, five furlongs. Looks like he's still pointing for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Who do you like in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint? Do you like coffee? Do you like come dancing? Do you think Garana's got a shot? Leave a comment below, share the video, and hit subscribe. Still trying to get 200 subscribers before the Breeders' Cup. And who do you think is going to win the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint? Leave a comment below. Ring that bell for notifications as we race you up to the Breeders' Cup.